Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Ruby Tuesday. For my Ruby Tuesday project, I actually started out uh, filming this video by just wanting to have a play date in my studio with the digitals from Ruby and Pearl XO. I had a couple of kits in mind and you'll see in the video as we go along what those were. But uh, there was several of the sort of newer kits that I was interested in playing with and I thought that I would print several of them out and then see what I would do with them from there. So I just kind of wanted to print them out and then I was going to pair them together. And what I ended up doing essentially is making sort of my own postcards. So like DIY postcards and that's probably what I'll end up titling this video. So yeah, this started out as a play date and wanting to check out some of the newer digis and yeah, so we are going to be making some postcards and we're using the postcards kit, the Art Nouveau kit and um, what else did I use in here? The Art Nouveau kit and oh and the envelopes kit, envelopes kit number two. So what you just saw me do is print out several things and here's what I've come up with. I've used a variety of papers. So just papers that I have in my stash. I kind of showed which ones those were a second ago. And for the postcards, I'm cutting out images that I that I like. And then I'm also using the postcards kit for sort of like these vintage postcard backs. So in this kit, there is one sheet where there are some blank backings to postcards. So I'm going to be using those mostly and creating, I guess what you could call like journaling cards or journaling space that you could include in your journals. Uh, you could use these as happy mail, like as a cute little postcard and actually write something on the back. Lots of different uses. And yeah, I'm just going to show you sort of what I came up with with these by pairing the Art Nouveau kit and the postcards kit. So for the Art Nouveau kit, I chose uh, mostly images that had like two different like images or art pieces next to each other and then I just sized them down in my printer just um, using my printer settings and I sized them down to approximately what the backings of the postcards are and then you'll see as we go coming up here that I'm going to be gluing those two pieces together first I'm going to pair the, them together and then glue and then I will be cutting off the excess. And then we're going to further embellish these. So I'm going to let this go to music for a second while you kind of watch what I'm doing and how I kind of put all these together. And then we'll get to the exciting part, which is the embellishing. So what I did there is just sort of set everything up so that it's ready to be glued. I chose backings and the top, I guess, of the postcard for each one and sort of paired them by color tones. And then now I'm just gluing them together with my Yoohoo glue stick, which I love. And I'll be cutting off the excess in just a second.
I'm taking a pair of my decorative scissors and just cutting down the edges of some of these cards. I also select another pair of scissors just to have some variety and I'm giving some edge, decorative edges to several of these. I'm now coming over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew around the edges of some of the cards to give it a little bit of an extra texture and some shine with this shiny gold thread. Okay, so let's take a look at these super simple little cards. Love the way these all turned out. Just a little bit of the sewing detail around the edges. And yeah, I can further go in and decorate these if I want to. What I think would look really cool and really elegant with this Art Nouveau kit actually is to give it like a gold border. So I used gold sewing thread, but I think even like some gold paint around the edges. This would look really nice and just give it like that little bit of a, a shine and yeah, that would like spruce it up just enough. And I love that the postcards kit has um, options for decorative ones such as this, which I really love. You know, this nice um, French one and it's like a nice color. It's got some beautiful script and writing on it. But also there's the option for blank. And I especially even like this blank space on the front of the postcard. So kind of like a little DIY make your own postcard type thing and I absolutely love how these super simple cards turned out. So this is my stash of my personal favorite envelopes that I have collected for a very long time. A lot of French ones, um, just a lot of really beautiful and unique old envelopes. This is my this box is probably like what I would take with me if my house caught on fire because I just like I have to take this I, ha I can't part with any of these so I use these sometimes in really special journals I will use them in a custom order every now and again but I just it's really hard for me to part with some of these I mean some of these I searched really far and wide uh, for some of them you know I've paid a lot of money for some of them just because they there's just certain things that I look for in these kinds of old envelopes and yeah I mean I, I just I have a ton and I don't want to use them so the good news is we have options from Heather at Ruby and Pearl so there's so many that are so similar to the ones that I just showed you I mean this one right here like forget about it forget about it so I just that's I'm definitely gonna use that when I saw this kit I was like I, OMG <laughs> like I have been waiting for someone to make a kit like this with all of this beautiful ephemera that is I'll be honest with you it's hard to find some of this stuff and you know it can be expensive to buy um, all this vintage ephemera and it is really nice to have a collection like I do like I just showed you um, it's it's really for my own personal collection and just to like keep me inspired but now I have the option of using these digital images. So we're going to go ahead and play with a couple of these. Uh, I think I already know which ones. Let's go through a few. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Look at all that beautiful aging. It's just like, that's magical. I mean, look at that font. 
up there. Oh, gosh. Okay, so this is like one of my favorite kits of all time from hers. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's cool. I might have one of those in my collection too, I think. Yeah, really nice. So, okay, let's get to printing some of these. I pulled out this Strathmore toned tan sketch paper and I thought I would try printing the brown envelope that I chose on this type of paper. No rhyme or reason to that really, just wanting to see how different things look on different paper. So we're gonna try that out. Don't judge my pants. I'm wearing like the craziest tie-dyed colored pants right now. And they're kind of my favorite. And lime green is kind of my favorite. And I'm not sorry about it. Anyway, I'm gonna cut this. I've been cutting everything on my guillotine cutter. If you have one of these, you know how nice these are to have. Um, if you don't, I recommend getting one because you'll never want to use any other paper cutter ever again. Okay, so I've cut two down of that sketch paper. So let's go throw it in the printer and print some stuff. Okay, so it's a new day. Um, I had to kind of end that work day because it was getting late, but this is what I have so far. And now that I'm looking at it in sort of like daylight and natural light. Uh, I think that all of this stuff actually kind of goes together. So this beautiful color palette here with these warm oranges and pinks and reds, all of this goes really nice with these brown envelopes. So this is all like a really nice pairing here. And this would go with it too, but I'm gonna set that aside just for a second because I'm kind of loving the way that all of this turned out together. So we have the Art Nouveau postcards that we've sort of made like a little DIY postcard. And now I'm thinking, I have, I have some gold paints out that I'm gonna do what I was talking about earlier in the video with adding some gold here, so I'll, I'll do that. But then I'm kind of thinking like, Let's maybe just sew up the sides of these and include some of these in here. So this one's very small. So I'm thinking for this one, hmm. I think this one was the one I liked for here. So I'm gonna cut this down a little bit on both sides and just kind of make it so that it fits in here. I don't think that'll affect the back very much if I just slice off a little here and a little here. So just like a little modification to this one. And then I don't know, like that would just be really cute in here. Maybe this one will get some sort of little tab along here or like a ruffle maybe to, so that if I were to put this in a journal, I could like pull it out easily and I'm gonna go ahead and add some details to all of this stuff and set you to music and then we'll come back and see what we've come up with with this small little pile of ephemera here so here we go So as you can see, I'm just going back and forth between these two and adding layers of paint. I'm using different kinds of golds, I'm using a bronze, just different, whatever I have in my paint stash to see what uh, each type of paint looks like on the edges. So, And I realized that paint, uh, taping it off with washi is the best way to go about this because it'll give you the straightest line and I feel like for 
what I'm doing here, I kind of do want a nice straight crisp line. So I really like how this turned out. Okay, so there are two postcards that are done. Absolutely beautiful. I am obsessed with this gold around the edge. I think this looks super cool. Um, I want to try this effect on something like this, this glossy paper postcard, because I think the shininess of this gives it a more realistic post postcard look I know there's you know lots of postcards that are not shiny like this but just I'm kind of liking this sort of realistic aspect to this sort of looking like a real postcard minus the sewing around it you know you know what I mean like obviously it's a digital but you know what I'm saying it looks real on the photo paper so let's put some gold around this just to take a look at how that looks um, and then maybe I'll experiment more with this paper. So I had printed this on the drawing paper and I, I think that looks nice. I could have printed it, I feel like, on anything really. So I didn't have to use drawing paper necessarily. This, these browns would have printed out nicely any sort of way or on any paper. That was just an experiment to see what it looked like on the brown paper. But um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's what we have so far. And let's see, I don't know if this is fully dry yet or not, but I'm still going to just put it in here just to see what it looks like. I guess it would have looked better if it was this way, but I want to have the decorative edge inserted this way. So that's what we're going to do. Love this. I, I just love this. I want to play with more envelopes now. But you get the idea, right? You, you can just print out these envelopes and then make a postcard out of whatever, you know, cover you want, whatever digital you want. Use any type of nice, maybe nicer paper um, that has some sort of texture or shine for your, the top of your postcard. And then, you know, whatever paper you want for the back and then do the gold. Okay, yeah, super happy with how that turned out. Okay, then this one, oh, also I could probably, I'll probably do some really dark distressing to the edges of this so that this gold like maybe pops more as it's being pulled out. So I'll grab my really dark distress ink in a minute. But anyway, what I wanted to say was that this one, this sort of larger envelope, I, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this one right here. The color of this one is just too much for me. I can't handle it. So this would be nice because it would hold several of these and maybe like, you know, put like a collection of cards in here. Okay, that one fits just fine. And this one. Okay, that one fits just fine as well. Okay, I think I was just putting them in all at once and it just was not working. Oh no, this one doesn't want to go in there. Okay, so these two fit in here nicely. And that could just be like a, such a nice, I don't know, such a nice touch in your own journal to just have this like little bit of special journaling space. I, I'm, I think I'm just really loving seeing these, all these warm tones together. That's really making me happy right now. So let's, let's keep playing some more. So over the time that I've been on Instagram and YouTube, I've taught you a couple of different ways that I like to use my Distress Ink. I just thought I would mention a few things here. One is I store mine upside down in my drawer. Does that help? 
uh, keep the ink up to the surface. I don't know, maybe a little bit. Um, that's just the way I store them. I only have a few colors, so you know, I just pop them in a little pile upside down in my desk. And um, I don't switch out my this, the foam, um, because then I just get a variety of color. Like I, I don't know, maybe that's not the right way to do it, but I like I'll I'll go back and forth between this ground espresso one and vintage photo and you know I'll just use the same one so you know that's just what I do and another thing is I've also taught you like I, I really like this like tapping motion on the edges sometimes but for this one um, I'm looking for like a really really blended almost like blended further into the paper look so um, I'm kind of swiping it back and forth like this just to get it really on the edges dark and then I have this like, you know, cardboard here from the photo paper that I'm using as like, you know, just like a surface to get messy. And I'm gonna just do some blending with the um, blender held just like face down like this. I'm doing it um, lighter in some areas and darker in some areas. Okay, so this one here already has some like nice brown edges at the bottom. So that's just how it was like naturally aged. And you can see this here. This is, I didn't add any distress ink here to this yet. So that's all from the natural aging of the envelope. And look how great that that printed out. I just, yeah, I can't get enough of this one. So I'm gonna just further add a little bit more to a darkness to the edges of that, especially since this is where I ripped the um, excess off so it's kind of lighter now so i'm just going to kind of match that to this crease that was dark on the actual digital Now I'm just going back and adding some more gold to some of the other postcards and this one here is going to get some extra little embellishing. I ended up pulling out some of my little gold stars that I have and I just ran my paintbrush onto my glue stick and then stuck the whole paintbrush into the stars and am placing them carefully onto the little image here just in the areas that I think would look really cute. And hopefully this glue stick holds well this way that I'm doing it. Um, I don't know, we'll have to see.
so that's a beautiful postcard we accidentally got some gold on the back I'm not mad at that no big deal and that would be a really pretty piece of ephemera to go into that larger envelope like so that we distressed around the edges So I just have this little box here full of small little bits that I save sometimes from, you know, fabrics that are either, I don't know, not precious, but just that I don't want to throw away even the small scraps because I feel like I could use them for something, especially for embellishing paper ephemera like this. So this little box is going to come in handy right now. Um, let's pick out some things to embellish these cards with. So. Something like this, so that when it goes in, it has like a little tab like that. Even though this would still be pushed down, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's a little something. So let's add maybe this one and Okay, so let's take a look at everything we've made. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop creating here. I think this is good, and I'll just title this video DIY postcards or something like that because that's kind of what this play session ended up being was creating postcards, and this is definitely something I'm gonna start doing and including in upcoming journals because I really want to play around more with this whole little um, idea here. And I hope you try it and I hope you tag me if you learned this from my channel if you learned this from this video and try it like let me know what you think let me know what kits you decided to pair together if you use the postcard kit to um, use as the backing for these little postcards let me know let Heather know how you're using them because it's just cool to see and I hope that you know you learned something from my little play session here so uh, okay so we have this one here um, and I ended up putting it in the envelope this way and I didn't sew this on I just used some glue and I glued this on I chose this little remnant that I had because it had this little bit of green and this peachy color that went perfectly with this image here and I'm gonna insert it into here this way and I was looking at it inside of my traveler's notebook journal and just like how it would look if it was, you know, I'm not going to show much of my journaling, but, um, but like if it maybe was like a, a tip in, you could tip this in and then like pull this out or this could go inside a pocket, you know, like this is like a little floating pocket with a postcard or it could be happy mail. You could write a note to your pen pal and stick it in here and it could be like a little envelope and postcard set. So just really, really super cute. And you know, you could embellish it any way that you like. This is just how I want to do it. And I think I'll even experiment with different color paint. It doesn't always have to be gold. You can think outside the box and maybe use some like bright colors to brighten this up. I like to add um, sort of like painterly elements to to my stuff just because it gives it like a little bit of a mixed media vibe. So loving the way that this little set turned out nice and coordinating. And then this one, I pulled out my little stars and I really like how that turned out on this image. You can get any kind of little sequins or stars or things that you have and glue them on. You saw how I took a paintbrush and I brushed my glue stick glue on here just so that it was a nice thin layer of glue that didn't um, sort of reactivate the ink on the paper if you use like a really wet glue I guess I don't that was just my thinking was like to just brush on a light thin layer of of the of the yoohoo glue stick which I really like and then glue the stars on and I sort of arranged them using my little 
poker to fix them how I wanted. So will they stick on there for a long time? I don't know. We'll see. I wouldn't grab it from the stars or like touch the stars. Uh, and then I added a gold border all around the edge, which gives it such a fancy gold, like <laughs> elegant look. I love it, love it, love it. And that's going to go inside of this envelope here because it fits nicely in there or you, or you don't have to. You could put this in a pocket in a journal and you know, you're flipping to this page and there's this beautiful starry postcard here. So just options, just some of the ways that my brain thinks when I am making stuff like this, but I'll put that in there. This one I did not add gold to. I just did a little bit of the dark distressing and added some of these little textural elements to it and I would insert that in here. So this is like, you know, exactly something I would put in a journal that I make for sale so that I could give my client um, a sort of a unique journaling spot, a, a unique idea for like journaling spaces so they could do some journaling there. And then we have this one that I finished adding the gold around the edges to. And again, you could pick any image printed on the photo paper. I have mentioned this before. I got photo paper from the thrift store, super cheap. I don't know if it's the best quality. It's whatever, you know, just use what you have and you have a postcard. Uh, and then this one here that did not end up fitting in this envelope. I think it probably would if I didn't have two other ones in there already. So now I have some extras to do something else with, maybe print out a different envelope and put it in. Um, but yeah, that's that's what I came up with with this little play session. This was over a period of, uh, you know, last night and then today. So a couple hours of playing. And now I have several little pieces of ephemera that I really like. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, let me know your thoughts and if you like this. And definitely if you try it, tag me, please let me know um, that you what you learned from my video. And... Um, yeah, happy Ruby Tuesday, guys. Bye.